Hello, Pokémon Monsters! I'm Lily Trainer Lin. You know how shiny Pokémon makes no sense at all? I feel like surely there has to be some kind of thought behind it. So I'm on a mission to find out why the how the colors they do. Let's warm up with an obvious one. A normal Torchic is orange, with yellow feathers. And a shiny Torchic's body is instead yellow, which is the common color for real life baby chicks. So it makes perfect sense for it to be yellow. Victor Bell's shiny has blue lips instead of pink. Victor Bell is based on a pitcher plant. Typically, they have purple, blue, pink or red shades. I tried to find out if there are any species that have blue lips or whatever I'm supposed to call them when they're on a plant, but I couldn't find any. Instead, I found out that it's been discovered that some species of pitcher plant glow in a fluorescent blue color in UV light. So perhaps this is the actual reason for Victor Bell's shiny blue lips. While we're at fluorescent light, do you know what a shiny capital looks like? It's green. And um, being based on a long extinct trilby, its closest real living relative is a horseshoe crab. And what happens when you put these horseshoe crabs under UV light? They turn green. Here's a cute one. Whooper! Shiny Whooper is pink, because it's based on an axolotl. Axolotls aren't exclusively pink, but it's perhaps the most popular color from what I've seen. And they have become quite popular as pets quite recently, I think. Anyway, I really like them. Over to Stormy. I found this species of starfish with 10 arms that comes in both blue and purple. And they live around Japan, and some of them are yellow on the underside, and it's sort of gets over to the front and it looks like regular Stormy's yellowy gem holder thing. Yeah, do I need to say more? Little adorable Sea Waddle. Sea Waddle is based on a silver-spotted skipper caterpillar. They make little shelters from leaves and silk. And it's so cute. Their bodies come in quite bright yellow and green, which happens to be the two colors of a Sea Waddle. They live off different kinds of plant leaves, for example, American Hog Peanut and Kudzu. As you can see, the colors match the leaf hood on Sea Waddle, both shiny and regular. What's your first starter? Was it perhaps Cinequeen? Ever wonder why the shiny is brown? No? Well, I'll tell you anyway. I used to think Cinequeen was an anteater, but now I believe Cinequeen is based on a shrew. I mean, really, tell me this shrew doesn't look like Cinequeen. And what's another color shrews can have? Brown! Perhaps this is stretching it too far, but Typhlosion's shiny is instead purple. And as you know, purple in the Pokemon world typically represents poison. Some species of shrews can actually produce venom. So perhaps the purple is a nod to Cinequil being based on a shrew? This next one is perhaps obvious to some people, but that won't stop me from mentioning it. Ladyba and Ladyum. They're based on ladybugs, of course. And second best known after the red ladybug is the yellow one. So the shinies are yellow. Tailos and Swallows shiny has a nice green color and a lighter orange chest. The first thing we want to know is if there are any real green swallows. And of course there is. Here's a violet green swallow. I think it looks really pretty. It doesn't have the red or orange chest of a barn swallow, but perhaps they adjusted it to work for the shiny. If not, here are two other species of green birds that do have a red chest and look similar to the shiny forms. Rico, my first starter. I've always loved its shiny form. Its shiny seems to be based off the... Sorry for not saying this right. Sekikune flat lizard. The male is a perfect match with his turquoise body and red tail. And the beige belly come from the female, probably. <laughs> making it a mix of the two and not exclusively male, while still matching Trico's color sections. And that's all 10 shinies explained. Of course, I could be wrong about all of these, so it should be considered theories rather than facts. If you think I might be wrong about something, I'd really love to hear your thoughts about it. The reason I did this video is because I think it's super fun and interesting. Well, maybe I'll do a part 2 if anyone is interested. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below!
and shout out to my one and only subscriber. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>